If you endlessly chase things in this game, you never have time to develop your account and tight end events are expensive as fuck. Of course, they just, you know, have to milk us as best as possible. Thor's soul is now going to be available to all of us. It's not a freebie. It's not like Loki. Feel the power of the thunder starting September 17th. That's tomorrow, depending on when this video is released. Earning hammer points during the first week, 1,010. Second week is 740. So this is going to be a two week evolution. Basically another fusion. You can earn up to 1750. You only need 1500, which means you can skip 250 points worth if you're keeping track. Me personally, I like to knock it out of the park right from the get go. So I try to bang it all out at, at once and get it out of the way so I can just not think about it and get it over with. I don't like waiting till last minute. That's just me. Perfect Souls allow you to awaken, uh, awaken your champion to the exact awakening level indicated. If you're lucky enough to find a six star perfect soul for a champion, you can fully awaken them in a single step. However, split souls are used to awaken your champions one level at a time. So if you're wondering, because I do get this question, right? If you're wondering why sometimes you look at souls and all of them are completely lit up red, filled in red, and then sometimes you get some that look empty, like um, Mithrala here, it's because it's a split soul. So if you wanted to empower Mithrala, where is it? You would have to use this first Mithrala soul stone or blessing, and then you would be able to use the second one right here. You can't just jump to the second one if it has an empty star right here. But, uh, you know, I don't want to talk too much about that, right? I posted on YouTube and on Reddit, of course, to see what the temperature was about the event, what you guys thought about. So uh, let's just go through some of the comments. As a new player, I just grinded Thor, but at what cost? He's a little Thor from grinding for Thor. <laughs> uh, the amount of time and resources required this path. I'm going to use that joke for quite some time, so... Uh, it's a bad one, but, you know, I said it, I'm gonna stand by it. Resources required past this week has been beyond insane. I've been living and breathing this game, first and last event for me personally. Best advice that I gave him was to quit while you're ahead. It's not going to get any better, right? Yes, I do tell people to quit, right? I don't want you guys to quit, but I will tell you to quit. If, you know, you're feeling this sort of way and it seems detrimental. Wasn't expecting a tight end event. Thought it would be a hero's path, easiest skip for me. It's just not possible. I feel that. Soul events count too. Also, it's for five stars, right? Yes. Normally speaking, it's for five star blessings. I really don't think they ever did a tight end event for six stars. That's just too... That's too easy for everybody to go for because that's huge. Seems out of reach, but I'm going to try. I really want his five star. I'm definitely gunning for that five star. Uh, the last video I did, he... And I, I haven't... At the time of this recording, I still haven't figured out what it was, but he outdamaged both of my Acrisias. It was kind of weird. I don't know how, but he outdamaged my Acrisias in the Hydro run. Seems out of reach. Going to try it. His five star is the closest to Trunda I've uh, uh, I can get, since I have none in that realm. Man, they doing Titan event, and tomorrow will be Summon Rush for 50 frags. Surely will be points for Titan events in the Summon event. Then people how doesn't want to... Then people how doesn't want to go for this summon BS. They've already done the fusion. They're they're fucked, including me. My shoulder, ah, because he's carrying. Would it require resources and time more than a fusion? It's basically another fusion, so uh, just about the same. And I think other people said the same thing. Yeah, Jorge Luis said the same thing. Um, yeah, everybody's told him. Uh, I suppose this is going to be impossible, but aim for a three star. Yeah, um, you know, I would say at the very least, go for the three star for soul, for his uh, for his soul. I think it's very easy to do passively without really paying much attention to it. The four, st uh, the four star you might get also if you're somewhat active trying to get the points. But I think the five star, um, honestly speaking, is going to be a little bit... Uh, more of a hassle but you know this is how they get us so i asked on reddit thor's soul who's going for it to me it's basically another fusion what are some things you wish you knew before chasing a soul 
Have you missed the soul before? Addy486 says, I expect that the Freya deck of fate will be part of the tight end event and give huge amounts of needed points. I save for Freya, and I would like to get a high soul for Thor, so I'm in. To add to this, during the Xenogre Blademaster Soul event, there was a deck of fate for Fatalis Blademaster and 50 points included. That's is that was that a thing? I think that's a thing. Yeah, I think I, I remember this. There was a deck of fates during the event. Yeah, he's right. So this isn't the first time that this happened. This has happened before. So yeah, Freya during this could totally be a thing. Not confirmed, but it could be. If the Freya event is part of this, then I will probably complete it. If not, then I'll just do the events to get a four star. Not going to summon anything if not for Freya or Odin. Not worry about energy and stuff. And I'd like to take this time to remind you guys that, hey, you know, do your best, but also play the way that you want and for how much you want to play, right? Don't, don't fall for the FOMO. Raid is very good at FOMO. We've talked about this. Like, yes, this is going to help you out a lot, but also you'll be fine. I, I can't iterate how much you'll be, you'll be fine if you don't get the five stars, right? Just go for the three stars. You'll be chill. Trust. You'll get a four star eventually. You might summon the five star eventually also. Y you're fine. I'm just getting nutty waiting for the Freya event in general. I skipped Thor. I should be sitting on my hands. Never done a Titan event before, but will it go for it? Never done a Titan event before, but we'll go for it this time. Love the dude. Pulverized my full auto Hydra record with him. Plan to use him in TTA too. Four to five stars on a Hydra nuker makes such a big difference. That's, this is true. It makes a huge difference. I'm going all in. It may mean I miss next month's fusion, but Thor with souls will boost my account greatly. The Titan event so far has, in my opinion, been mostly badly designed. Harder fusions for even less rewards than normal, they tend not to bring enjoyment, but in general, a feeling of being burned out. Is that you? Are you feeling burned out? Personally, I don't really feel burned out, but that's because I've been skipping fusions. I've been skipping fusions for months, I've been skipping events, I haven't really been doing anything. So I feel fresh for the most part. I play raid whenever I want. I don't really trip about certain things, min-maxing and uh, being efficient with everything, using my energy all the time. I let it stack, I don't, I don't care. But that's just me, and I guess I'm in a position where my account can just do that. But I think anybody, whether you're a newer player or a late game player, um, it's totally fine if you let your points stack and then just blow your entire load on a specific tournament or a specific event like if you just let your energy stack then you could probably win a, a tournament with like good relentless gear or a fusion just might be that much easier for you you know just just a, a, a thought for you to consider right i would like to do this but the fusion was draining so we'll have to see the four of the five star soul is pretty huge if you use the champ in pvp or hydra there are numerous champs I've skipped the five star soul for last year, and I kept saying I wish I did the five star four. There's nothing interesting in tight end events as you do the same dungeons, tournaments, classic arena, so on as you do in a fusion. I think I will mostly ignore this one, take what I can get, but will for not sure do several summon rushes with plenty of shards of all values to obtain a 5% of a five star soul. No thanks. I would like to do this, but the fusion was so draining, so we'll have to see. The 4 star or the 5 star is pretty huge if you use this champion in PvP or Hydra. There are numerous champs I've skipped the 5 star soul for in the last year. Kept saying I wish I did the 5 star soul for. I used to think the 5 star soul event was too expensive, and they are, but if you have the resources, it's worth it because a 5 star soul makes a huge difference at the end game. It's true. So if you plan to use the champ in Hydra or PvP, then it's worth considering. Exactly. It's worth considering. I would not write this five star soul or even just the three star soul for for thor off completely i wouldn't say hey i'm not you know it's just it's just trash it's it's honestly not i think i heard somebody say that thor as a damage dealer at least in hydra was only bested by trunda that's saying something so a five star soul for thor is going to be huge now i'm not telling you to do it i'm telling you to do what you want but it might be worth considering, if you're considering at all, to do it. To might, you, you might want to go for it, basically. But don't stress if you don't do it, right? That's all I'm saying. It's a good idea if you do go for it. It's a good idea if you don't go for it. I'm just giving you, you know, two perspectives. If you don't have the resources, I wouldn't stress over it again. 
settle for the three for the three stole call it a day if you don't want to spend the time settle for the three star soul which you might get probably just by playing the game every day easily call it a day what and how much resources are we going to use energy charge gems imagine a second fusion but with worse summon requirements it's basically a slightly harder fusion shard is probably the same or a bit more energy is a bit less if you can farm dungeons we usually get turn attack dungeons and titan events but we're not sure yet so if you have a fully built fast hard team you can save a lot of energy comparing to normal dungeon events but essentially think of it as another fusion event maybe slightly more resources the five star mithrala soul was way harder than a fusion i don't remember the five star soul for mithrala there wasn't anything obvious on the event post unless i'm completely blind dave says he's probably going to go for it but i'm hoping the turn attacks aren't going to be restrictive uh going to be a restrictive group of champions like they were for the mithrala soul that was so fucking miserable it fucked up my hard ig and fire knight team it's my it's my fault entirely for not saving the team and remembering who i was using but i went up to hard ig and there were my three venom mages and two epics ready to go even if you can't poison hard ig i personally personally i wouldn't stress too much about doing the hard dungeons if you just want to get the turn attack event done and get the points for it it's worth considering just dropping levels i mean I've done videos before where like I did like for example Fire Knight in like less than five turns and I got a pretty good amount of points for it just for the turn attack event. It's something to consider, right? You have options is all I'm saying. I'm not telling you that's the best way to go about it. Ideally, you would do the highest hard dungeon you can do and if there's like I don't know, some some champion training going on at the same time, you would triple, quadruple dip as much as possible, but but yeah. Thor already does hundreds of millions of damage for me in Hydra without a soul. In fact, the last video I did, he was doing... He did 30 million. I ended the run quickly. Fast, right? I got to 100 million, and I ended it right there. He outdid my Crisias, and... He was not booked, he was not mastered, he didn't have a soul, and his gear wasn't maximized, it wasn't optimized. So that that's saying something. Now, of course, I'm not trying to say like Acrisias aren't, you know, up to snuff because they're obviously Acrisia, but at the same time, you know, something's there. Now, I don't know if it's because Supreme Gaelic was in there and he was in a cursed set and maybe the damage was redirected or something, but... Yeah, I'm excited to see, to play with Thor a little more to see how he does. He might be my first champ I actively six star awaken, but it depends if I need eternal stones for Freya. I just got Thor through the fusion, so my energy is mostly spent. Bro, Thor smacks. He smacks harder than then Ninja. And I have Ninja at way higher attack and book. My Thor has zero books. That's interesting. I'm not the only one then. I'm absolutely going for a soul for a dude, for this dude, he's a Chad. I skipped Scored and Incarnate, anticipating a wild fusion Titan event later in the year. This is that fusion and Titan event, definitely getting a 5 star soul. Did the same exact thing. He says he's sitting on 72 sacreds, wow! And there it is, yeah, he has 72 sacreds and 200 ancients and 164 voids. You know, I miss seeing those high numbers for shards. like. I think at one point early in the year, I had like 50 sacreds or something, and I just miss seeing those numbers. Free to play, by the way. What's that, like four to five months of, of saving? I started saving voids after Narcisse when I missed them in February March. Started using them about two months ago. Did the 30 Sham Ale guaranteed. Ancients, I did the Shimnath guaranteed. Sacred, I only skipped Scor uh, Scored and Incarnate. Did the other fusions and a few Titans like Tormund and Encora, five star souls, exactly. Um, yeah, holy moly. That dude saves. I feel like sometimes it's a lot more fun to save shards to see how much you can get versus spending them all the time. But um, yeah, depends on entirely how crappy they're going to make it. I'm going to aim for the four star, but if it's bad enough with resource drain events, may just ignore everything and focus on Minotaur. I got throw, Mikage, scored Mezumel, Galkabar, Kempton. Uh, while Thor Soul would be amazing, I want to get some of this shit sorted out. Totally understand that. I'm going to prioritize getting Freya. If I can do both, then great, but I'm hoarding everything I can for the deck of fates. Logdog says he's going to do what he can, but I'm not going to do any summon events except with the Freya deck of fate. 
and maybe a chase if I can do it on Broadmaws and Fragment Fusions. Been prepping myself mentally for this one, hopefully I can make it through. Then back to saving for a good fusion. Just for perspective, I have 13 Legos on my account with a 4 star soul, only 5 were from soul stones in the soul shop. The other 8 were from free events like Loki and big, big grind events like Thor's Titan event. What? Getting a 4 or 5 star for even a merely good Lego champion is a big deal. In my honest opinion, Thor is quite a bit better than that. I agree. From my testing, and I've only played with him for like, I don't know, 20 minutes so far. I think Thor is better than just, I think he's solid. You know, my, my initial thought right now when I haven't really thought about it much, just like base value so far. I think he's like A plus for damage dealers as a damage dealer, maybe S minus. But again, I have to see a little bit more and test them out a lot more. I've only seen him in the context of Hydra and um, Spider. Big damage. Real world obligations are going to uh, complicate the second week of the event. So he's saying he's got some real life shit going on in the second week, but he's definitely gonna shoot for the three stars. Yeah, definitely shoot for the three stars. Lobo says, my wallet says, no, I barely have the resources to finish the Thor fusion with this catch up summon rush. He says, me, I'm gonna do it. Though I probably will only get the three star soul unless we're able to get points from the Freya deck of fates. After that, I really need to build my resources up again. Hopefully the next fusion is bad, so we can skip it. He says, I'm in. I was lucky enough to pull a six star soul during the 2x event. He's good. Used them in Hydra. He crushed it. Uh, he says, TMW. I don't know what TMW means. You're still new and have only been able to scrounge up one of the four fusions. Or one of the four epics, I think, for the fusion to begin with. I don't know what TMW means. Um, what does that mean? I'm old. He still hasn't responded. He says credit cards. Yeah, Polarium wants your money. I'll get whatever's easy to get. Prefer to spend a few weeks in Minnow so I can, um, so we'll just get the two to three star soul likely. Yeah, that's good. Thor gets very strong buffs at four and five. Yeah, true, but if you endlessly chase things in this game, you never have time. Exactly. If you endlessly chase things in this game, you never have time to develop your account and Titan events are expensive as fuck. I wouldn't mind the four star for the crit damage, but gotta see how expensive it's gonna be. Yeah, uh, four stars, that's when you get the big crit damage boost. I think it's like 38% crit damage, that's huge. But yeah, um, you know, he said it pretty well. If you're endlessly chasing everything in the game, you'll never have time to develop your account. I know so many people with a lot of legendaries who've been chasing every single fusion, but don't have Lego books. He says, I already have a four star soul for him. This was blocked. Why is this blocked? Oh, we got... Oh, I remember this. I was like, why... Why are... What's with all these uh, downvotes here? I don't know why there's so many downvotes around here. Um, he says, for damage dealers, it's usually a choice between five stars or skip it. Not entirely. Four star is sometimes okay, but the champ doesn't really... If the champ doesn't really require accuracy. I don't necessarily agree with it. I gave it an upvote just because he shared a thought and wasn't a dick about it. Carl responded, what? The four star is what you really want on the damage dealer. Five star is just really nice if they also need the accuracy. It's true. Crushing Ren at six stars though. That's true. Five star equal to just about six stars. Kinda. Brings the bar down for acquiring in the, in the shop still. That's true. Sure, but unless you're dropping tons of money on soul stones, you'll never six star all of the damage dealing fusions. That's also true. It's like five months of iron twins with only double keys on void to get one five to six star upgrade. It takes forever, guys. I finally got a six star blessing for Rotos. Finally. And yeah, it felt like five, six months, something like that. By the way, Titan events, worth the resources if you want to build the champ. In my opinion, souls are the rarest resource in the game currently. I tend to agree with that. If you're planning on building him and using him as a top one, two, three DPS in Hydra, I would just use shards to get the highest soul you can get, even if you can only get two or three stars. Shards are easier than getting essence. True. This seems like a very late game point of view. If Thor is a Lego that is going to be used, even a two star is bonus HP and attack. Three is more defense, four is crit damage. Exact. Yeah, he's got a good point. That's good insight um, against him who's saying that for damage dealers, it's five stars or nothing. All of that is good to have. Exactly. And there's stuff like cursed city stages that require X level of souls. 
you gain some benefits to having souls. Thor is just better at every soul stage. If he is a champ anyone is planning to use in the regular teams, I'd recommend getting the best soul feasible. I agree. Good insight. Bleak Wind. I remember the, reading this one at work. This is very much like the current Loki. It's not. It's not going to be too resource costly, so I'm in. It's going to be very resource costly. A five-star soul means he's going to hit hard. Well, you're not wrong about that. You're in for a shock, my friend. Titan events generally cost as many resources as a fusion. The five star is indeed going to be expensive. Assuming the top prize is five stars, we don't know yet. But you can get the three or four star by skipping almost all the summoning events in the past events. So this is a good event for everybody. That's true. In the past Titan events, if you skip the summoning events, at the very least, you can still get the three and the four star soul. There's that. Going back to it's not going to be costly. He responds, it's not. It's a tight end event. It's going to be very costly. And he responds, well, shit, knock me over with a feather. Thought we were getting a freebie. I thought that was funny. This guy down here was just like, I didn't even get Thor. How the fuck am I going to use his soul? To which I responded, this won't effing apply to you then. In my city, I'm a young girl. That pussy kill be so for sure.